Today I'm going to do something a bit different than my usual pet product review. I'm going to talk about something that is really important to me and I think everybody, everyone with a pet should have and that is a pet first aid kit. Most of you will have a human first aid kit. If you don't have one, I urge you to get one now. It's important to always have uh, those tools in case an emergency, but it's also important to have one for your pets. The reason why you want a different one for your pets is that a lot of the items inside a human first aid kit will not be usable on your pets. And you want to make sure in case of emergency you may be stressed out, you don't want to be using the wrong tools and make matters worse. Before I got this tool, this first aid kit, I used to make my own because I couldn't find any around. Um, but I'm glad I found this one. It's made from St. John's Ambulance and I bought it when I was in Canada at a pet store over there. So let's have a look at what came with it. But I did add my own items and I will tell you about them too. So this kit came obviously with its bag um, and a list. You always want to have a list so you can um, keep track of items that you need to replace. It comes with few different types of gauze so you've got a sterile gauze pads and non-sterile at uh, non adherent sterile pads um, then you get some gauze bandages here's this few different sizes um, the other thing you want is some um, q-tips um, some applicator to help you up as applicators sorry uh, antiseptic a, uh, this is a sting relief for insect bites, so good to have here a pet. Uh, and on this side I've got a few pairs of gloves, a, um, a rescue sheet, a pair of scissors, here I've got a uh, rapid relief, um, this is a cold pack that becomes cold pretty quick, uh, some petroleum jelly, here I've got a thermometer, anal thermometer for pets. Um, some flathead tweezers, which you um, can use for a variety of things, including um, removing ticks, but you can also get a specific tool for kit ticks that you can add in here. Um, but I'm quite happy to just use uh, these to remove ticks. And a, some bandage. Um, and I will talk about this a bit more. Now what I have added to this first aid kit is uh, very important, a um, just a guide on what to do with first aid. I mean some things you'll know, some things you won't, so it's always good to have handy. Um, this is an alcohol wipes uh, specifically to clean your instruments. So not to put on your pet, you've got to make sure you do not put it on a gash or anything like that. It's really just for tools. I've got a syringe for um, administrating oral um, liquid medication or anything like that. Now, talking about these uh, bandaging tape. Now these are specific for dogs. I bought them when I made my own at the pet store, uh, not the pet store, but at the vet. I would just ask them for it and they sold it to me. In Australia I got it at Lord Smith cost me like six six bucks or something um, so very useful uh, and the thing about these is that um, you do not want to put tape on your pet even if it is medical tape or band-aids because what will happen is that it will take the fur off of your dog or even with the fur it may not even stay on they may take it off it's just not safe and good to have for your tape so let me show you how you put this on on Audrey here. Whoop! Little Audrey. Here. So, just not to use a gauze, I've got a tissue just to show you. So, let's say he's got a gash on his leg here. Um, you want to use a gauze, you'll cut it to the right size or fold it how you need it. You put it, place it on the gash. Grab some of the bandaging here. It's very elastic and it sticks to itself. It's great. Audrey. You've got a gash here, and you're just going to grab this tape and tape it around, keeping the gauze in place on top of the gash. And 
as I'm putting it on, I am pulling a bit so that it, the elastic tights it up around his leg. Now when you do that, you want to make sure you don't do it too tight because you definitely do not want to cut blood circulation. Um, I'm just going to do this much for now to show you. Cut it, cut it off. It's very sticky. So at the end, you do want to pull a bit tighter than you have around most of it. And then it sticks to itself. And as you see, it just holds on. Normally you would, oh, maybe I didn't put, I didn't put enough. Um, normally you would put it, make sure that your entire gauze is um, hidden underneath it. Uh, and you just put a few layers around it. This will keep it on. Um, unless your dog really nibbles at it, it will stay on. Um, and keep you, your gauze in place. Thank you, Audrey. You've been a good model. Okay, so, other thing I put in is some Benadryl. Now, I do not recommend that you give your pet any type of human medication. Paracetamol, Panadol, Panadol any of that stuff, you don't give to your dogs. Um, and don't give any human medication to your pet unless your vet has told you to. Um, Benadryl, I have been told in Canada it was okay. Um, it's uh, for allergies. And also apparently Benadryl in Australia is the same and can be given to your dog as well. Um, do be wary. It may be the same brand in other countries, but it may also not have the exact same ingredients. So before giving Benadryl, please ask your vet. Now the reason why I keep this is because about a year ago Arthur had a huge case of um, allergic reaction as you can see in these photos uh, her face was just doubled up and it was really bad. So when I woke up that morning and saw Arthur with her face all swelled up I had a bit of a panic and just ran to the vet with her when they gave her an injection um, and a few hours later, it just completely wore off. Although, seven hours later, she ended up with a different type of reaction where she has all these little dots on her back and her body and her head, as you can see on these photos. Um, so I went back to the vet where he gave her another shot. Um, and four hours later, she still had those dots. So I ended up having to go to the emergency vet because it was nighttime at that point. Um, where she was much more useful and gave Arthur a Benadryl shot and told me to buy some pharmacy Benadryl and keep that with me all the time. Now this is the posology she gave me for a dog like Arthur which is 7 kilos is to give half a tablet when she has her allergic reaction. Wait 4 hours if the swelling has reduced but it's still there give another half tablet and so on for about 12 hours if she still has um, some traces of swelling after 12 hours then I will take her to the vet um, if the swelling has gone worse or is not moving then I will definitely take her to the vet much sooner than that so I suggest that you go to your local vet and ask them about um, an allergy medication you can keep in your first aid kit in case of emergencies. Um, is that Benadryl is okay in Canada and in Australia. Um, Benadryl may be different in other countries or it may be a completely different brand. Um, but a good thing to have in your first aid kit. Another thing I added to my first aid kit is this beautiful inflatable donut. Um, I have it inflated now but usually it doesn't have any air in it and it's very small and compact and it fits well in your first aid kit. Um, this is the right size for my dog. It does come in many other sizes for other dogs. So if you've got a bigger dog you can get a bigger size. How it works is that you put your dog's collar, once you've inflated it, you put your dog collar through these rings here and Arthur's going to help me demo. Uh, and you put this around the neck like this and tie it and tie your collar as well. Um, this is made by Kong surprisingly enough and essentially this is a inflatable cone of shame 
or in this case a donut of shame. It also has a hook here if you want to um, walk your dog and still have the uh, donut of shame on them and it will help them for, keep them from licking any areas that they shouldn't be going at. It's less annoying than a cone of shame as well. So good to have in your first aid kit. Now the last thing I like to have in the first aid kit is, weirdly enough, a sock. Now this works for a pet with a head about Arthur's size. Um, and the reason why I have a sock is that when Arthur was a pup, um, she had vasculitis on her ears. And what happened is that the tip of her ears would scab up and bleed out. Um, and so when we took her to the vet, um, they knew it was vasculitis and they convinced us to have a biopsy done to her ear. You can see here she's got a hole in her ear here. Um, which was a bad idea um, because vets do tend to um, do more testings on your pet than it's needed uh, essentially just for money reasons um, and so they finally after the testing told us that they didn't get any more results out of it other than knowing that it was a vasculitis and ended up just giving us some steroids to stop the bleeding the other issue with that is that when she would flap her head, her ears would flap all over the place and you'd have blood spatter all over the house. Now this could have been prevented and would have helped heal much faster if I'd have done this. So, and this is good for any type of scabs or bleeding anywhere around the head or neck. So you grab your gauze, in this case I'm just using a tissue to show you. And you put it on the area where you need um, covering from the blood. Uh, so if it's her ears, I would probably fold her ears like this, put the gauze on it. Then your sock, I've already pre-cut it, you would cut the end of your sock. That's it. She knows what's coming next. And just put it through her face, on her head. It's a bit easier when you're two. I'll put the gauze back here on her ears and pull it, the sock on. That makes for an interesting fashion statement here. Um, and there you go. This way, if she flaps her head, her ears are not going to flap all over the place and I'm not going to end up with blood spatter all over the place. Also, if you want to make sure that it stays in place, you can just put the collar on top. Yes, I know. Um, this is just a house collar, so it's not very tight. But you can put your collar on top to keep it much safer. You want to say hi to everyone and show them how comfortable you are? Look at you. There you go. Um, so that's pretty much everything I put in my first aid kit. Um, if you have any other suggestions, please let me know. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please watch my reviews on my channel and subscribe. Thank you for watching.